to refresh ourselves. What the warm up, warm up does? Why we have to warm up? Break it down. It's very simple. Why? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. What else, man? So you don't get hurt when you stretch. There you go. So, in other words, we are preparing not to, stretch. not to get injured. Right? Every, everything goes to right here. Okay, next one is stretch. Why we have to stretch? Anybody else can explain better? This is very important, even though simple and important. Huh? What is it? It's flexible, it's easier on the joints to tend in. Right. Let's teach you how to move. Mm -hmm. all, all of the above. So you are, you are adding one more component to, to change or work out better, whatever your choice is, including whatever activity. Then cool down. We all know that. If you, if you put it the right way, cool down is you are bringing the body back to normal. Whatever you use it. I believe strongly this is the part perhaps all the coaches, top level coaches also missing. I may be wrong. My, my assumption may be wrong. Because in my experience, this is the part everybody is missing, last part of the stretch, including this girl I've been working last five months. I have five people like this now. When it gets to your point, I, I bring it to you really what happened to one of the girl because of this. Clear? There's no way you can miss it. So the body waiting for injury. You are giving a chance. I wish we know this when I was an athlete. Too late. Like I mentioned yesterday, I have two shoulders, two knees, and left wrist and the ankle. Recommended surgery. But I'm holding on to it. So far clear? Question. Right. Um, what? How would you differentiate between the stretching that you do after warm up and the stretching you do after cool down? Good question. Good question. That's what I'm expecting you. <coughs> this is <coughs> this is your stretching to prepare to play. What? Uh, yeah. Only difference is from this to this is this is a this is a preparation stretch. This is a developmental stretch or you're putting your tools back. This is the most important <coughs> part. If an athlete comes to you, you, you do the deeper stretch right here. Including the high level events, whenever I work all over the world, you're preparing the athlete stretching, which means you're not going the deeper. This is the deepest possible you go. So that when you, when you look at the muscle, I wrote all these little things I want to cover. When you look at the muscle, right, you have an origin and insertion. Microscopically, I don't know, I don't have a scientific base to give it to you how, how well this is shortens. Maybe that. Microscopically, it is given any human body. It may take a weeks, months, years. We are shrinking. There's no doubt about that. Because you see the posture, how well it, it goes like that. If we all look, up, look ourselves in the mirror. Because of what? Why? Number one is lack of stretching. Number two is, look at this posture. Iliosoyas. Constant, repetitive, present, Scientific world. That's what I forgot yesterday. You can pass it on later on. Why the iliosoyas goes like that when you sit? <clears throat> it shortens. Yeah. 
right there, shortened. right there. Mm -hmm. So that's why important yesterday, I did not get a chance to check everybody earlier, so I bet everybody is right, mm -hmm. including me. So these are the type of things you can educate your clients. You know, you need to get up, walk around, and get stretched, or stretch themselves. So the book I gave you this morning, some people got it. That is just, you can stretch yourself. Okay. So, <clears throat> Jansi, that's what, this stretch will help to bring it back to normal. Clear? Yes. All right. Okay. In the beginning, I didn't say that. <clears throat> One more point I'm missing here, that the, the, <clears throat> the biggest enemy, listen to me please, the biggest enemy of a human body is what? Hmm? <clears throat> You're there. Anybody Inertia. else? Biggest enemy of a human moment. Inertia. Inertia. What is that? Lack of movement. Absolutely. Well, in a different man, I wrote it. It's a stagnation. Biggest enemy of the human body, life, and movement is the stagnation. Biggest enemy in the sports is injury. We, I'll get into that next. Then I get to the, my point. <clears throat> Biggest enemy of the injury is anybody else? Hurt. Biggest enemy of the injury is it's hurt. Huh? It's hurt. It is given. It, of course, it's hurt. <laughs> <laughs> no, think about it. Biggest enemy of the injury is. I'm repeating again. Re hmm? injury. Somewhere I wrote it down. I get to that. What yeah. happens? Since we started the re-injury part, <coughs> I don't know who made that. I read it in some health magazine. In, in this country alone, the ankle sprain happens, 25,000 ankle, ankle sprain happens from kindergarten to NFL. Right? So the, the re-injury what do you think the percentage of the re injury? 100 percent. Huh? 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%.
you have to do it. That's why I'm advo advo advocating or educating everybody <coughs> at the conference I have signed in my office. No stretching, no exercise, no massage for you. It doesn't do anything. But again, don't get me wrong, massage, I, I described in my one of the notes, massage is a mother. I'm a strong believer, strong receiver. The science is telling us. We talked about the massage therapy in the country wise 20% increase a year. So in other words, my client have already warmed up for me. I don't have to spend much time warming up. In some of the, you know, I don't want to get into that, but you know, some of the spas, what I experienced, they, they call it hour, they give you 50 minutes. Right, massage enemy? What is that? I'm paying an hour, why do you give me 50 minutes? It is my policy, forget that. I have a policy too, this is my policy. Okay, let's go back. With basic responsibility, please, please. Be alert. What is it? Jancy. What is the basic responsibility? For our husband. No, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Basic reasons for injury. Inadequate preparation for activity. All right, good. Anybody else? Otherwise, I'll read it to you. Non proper stretching, non proper work, yeah. non proper technique. Right. Proper training, trying to do too much at one time. Oh, you can, I, I read it to you, you can add to me anything else, right? Mm -hmm. Number one, I wrote it down, over, overdoing it. I have these four beginnings, I always go by numbers. It doesn't matter how, how, how orderly you put them. Overdoing it. So, overdoing it, I believe we don't do enough. There's no such thing overdoing it except in high-level athletics. There's a, there's a high-level possibility that they overdo it. So when you overdo it, the recovery is not easy. You're taking more, more time. We all know that. I believe you have the, that sense it happened in your lifetime. But it is very exceptional that in, in our population that there is such a thing, basic reason for injury overdoing it. We don't do enough. But it is a reason. Not enough stretching. It's a huge. I totally, totally pinpoint that. Not enough stretching. Number three, no proper stretching. That's why, that's why I kept telling everybody yesterday, which unfortunately I didn't have the book yesterday. <coughs> Master, 45, 50 years experience in the field. I admitted yesterday probably. 10, 20 times better than me. I also admitted yesterday, I'm not the best stretcher in the world, I'm not best trainer in the world, I'm not best therapist in the world. But the combination, combination we all noticed yesterday. <coughs> right? We all witnessed what I did yesterday. So that's why we went back yesterday constantly with the conference. It doesn't matter what I say, what I give, what I do, it works. You, you witness that, right? Okay. Now, not enough rest. You know, we are the trainer, Sam, and you both are your trainers. So, too much rest. That's a good point, too. I heard many times when a top athlete, world class athlete, doesn't keep up their practice 48 hours, you cannot perform the same thing. For example, a gymnast scoring on the 10 on the on the vault, if you give if you give them a 40 48 hours rest, you cannot do 10 score. Another good point. Too sudden, too mm -hmm. quick. I think this is this is our problem. As a, as a, as a healthcare practitioner. We have a hard time to convince our athletes and clients, this include, including, including all of us. If you love to do something, that it's, it's very hard to get convinced. You want to continue. It doesn't matter. 
Another issue also we have in our society, perhaps in, in the human mind itself, it doesn't matter what is our age, our condition. If we go to any healthcare practitioner, we accept a quick fix. There is no such a thing quick fix, according to me. It's a maintenance. <clears throat> now, I went through that many, many times. I, I, I think yesterday I gave you an example. 14 years I've been working with a, with a triathlete. I met her when she was 36, now she's 50. I have a hard time to convince her back off from the Ironman triathlon. We know all, the, as you trainers, you both know, Ironman distance are 2.4 miles swim, followed by one fall bike, and followed by 26.2 mile run. She did nine of them. So finally she listened to me, finally after nine years, because the wear and tear would nobody pay attention. It's already this happening. It's a, I think <clears throat> continuously happening, whatever we do. We can't stop that. Otherwise, we live thousand years. All right, improper coaching, improper training, improper biomechanics. I'm not expert on that, but if somebody these days, high level athletes have all those advantage and facilities that how well you train. Oh, yesterday we talked about it. There's no such, but, but, uh, what's the word saying? Practice makes perfect. I said yesterday, perfect practice makes perfect. Right? All right. Um, last one, listening to the body. What, what, what do you think that is in a technical term? proprioception. Uh, you heard that word many, many times. If we don't have that proprioception, I heard in the long in the long term the best proprioception athlete was Michael Jordan. It is true because he is the one who lifted himself in the air, have the ball one hand, defending three, four, five people, and switch the hand switch the ball to the next hand, next hand and basket it. Incredible. That's, that's the born yeah. gift. But it, it can be improved by our regular activity also. All right. Mm, then another one. Micro drama. So far with me, everybody, making sense to you what I'm saying? Good. Yeah. So this is, this is the core of how you can you educate yourself, your client, from the micro trauma. All right. <clears throat> anybody, anybody can give me any description of what is micro trauma? Please. We don't, so it's trauma, we don't know. It's, we don't mean hurting ourselves, we don't know. No, I'm saying micro trauma. What is micro trauma? Trip or fall? Hmm? Trip or fall? No. You know, micro trauma is, for example, weightlifters when they break down the muscle fibers to rebuild. That's micro trauma. Right. Well, you're saying it in a, in, a, in a little better way. Anybody can say better way, that's fine. But according to me, according to the science, is micro trauma is constant repetitive motion. It's hard to write. Constant repetitive motion. Like, example, jumper's knee. So, what happens in the, for example, take it, anybody track and field interest? Just me? <laughs> well, if you look at the triple jump, what they used to call half and half step and jump, then you take your body in the air before you land, look what happened. It has to be micro trauma. So in the soft tissue, where the tendon, ligament, and the cartilage in the joint itself is a given. How many thousands, perhaps millions of times, they have to jump to perfect it to get that metal. So, 
how do, how do we treat the micro trauma? Our question. That's why you stay, you stay on the top of the game. That's why earlier I was saying at the end of the day you stretch. In the beginning I gave you the big statement. Yesterday in the big statement, the first thing before I opened my mouth I said, this works. And we have to do it. So you educate your clients on yourself that every time you, you had a physical activity, you come home and stretch. You can you can avoid the microtrom, or you can maintain the microtrom, I should say, it, rather than avoiding it. There's no such thing avoiding it. But again, goal is not to get there. Okay, next one. Scar tissue. <clears throat> It's a big thing. What is a scar tissue? Tissue that hasn't healed properly? Hmm? Tissue that hasn't healed from an injury. What else? Adhesion. It's good. All of those correct. It's when an injury has healed in such a way that the fibers lay in all in any random pattern as opposed to following. The Wonderful, injury. excellent, excellent. So, without a scar tissue, there is no such thing as injury recovery. My head, right here, is a scar tissue. So, what is the, what is the disadvantage of that is, okay, these are the muscles, right? It's a strain. What, that is a strain, right? We already talked about those. That is the strain of the muscle. So my muscle fibers disruption, muscle fibers tear. It depends on how severity that is. So it has to align again to produce that produce that 9.58 seconds in the 100 minutes. Today's world record by Usain Bolt. I don't know who else did break that. I don't know when. Look at the how much power or speed and that contraction and lengthening happening each each step he takes. So powerful. So if you think there is a scar tissue, one of those muscles, look what happens. You won't be able to do, run 9.58. Yesterday we talked about that. Anything is nothing but a wave of movement. Didn't we talk about that yesterday? I'm not going to be able to move properly. Right. I know somebody that has the scar tissue because of a um, mastectomy. Right. And the tissue just sticks to her ribs. Right. And the only way to relieve some of that tension and increase her range of motion is to go in very deep. Right. So, so yesterday I mentioned we have a motion right here, right? Anything you start from one point to end another point without any interruption mm -hmm. in a deeper level. So scar tissue is always his enemy. That's why once he injured, he cannot perform 100%. Again, there's exceptions. If the children will recover faster, we don't recover faster. But how well we attend as soon as we can to get back to the normal normal potential. These, these days everything everything stakes in millions of dollars. You know, Roger Federer income a year sixty-four million dollars. LeBron James is fifty-three something. Look at the how much how much money in jeopardy. The whole goal is the performance. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Touch. I cannot teach you that. We talked about it yesterday. I gave an example of it. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but you will be able to feel a small hair, piece of hair, on the table, on the floor. That's what. That's what you have to develop that kind of touch to find those where the problem is. That's where the massage part comes in. 
even though yesterday I said to maintain this body properly is most naturally three things. Stretching, exercise, massage, right? So, for example, if somebody have a tennis elbow, you know, how well, how, how, how well we can get to it? What is the muscle causing the tennis elbow? What are the muscles surrounding it? So that's where the touch comes. Making any sense? If we don't have the, because it's all happening now. There's no such thing I can go to school tomorrow, get take some kind of class and touch you back. He wants it now. Right? All right. All right, next, next one is let's talk about wear and tear. This is another one. We talked about briefly already, but the wear and tear is given. It's constantly happening. <coughs> Next one. This another one. <clears throat> uh, knee intact on running. Did we talk about that yesterday? Really, so each really. each, uh, each time I think you mentioned oh, something. Yeah. Each time each time when you <clears throat> when you take that step like that, eight times our body impacting on the knee. These are all signs saying, I cannot prove it to you, give it to you now. Are you saying eight times the body eight weight? Eight times the body weight. That's why I was advising yesterday. 30 years ago, there's only one marathon. Today, there are eight to ten marathons in the... Did I say that yesterday? Right. right. Because it, <coughs> marathon is becoming a social challenge rather than a physiological challenge. Michelle running Raju won't strong. Michelle hurt herself when she right. runs. We, we don't have the. It is becoming a business. It was a social thing. <coughs> I do it, Michelle. Yeah, every, everybody. It's only. It's a, it's a social challenge as well as a, It is a. We have that human mentality. If somebody doing something, we follow them, without looking at the physiological factors. Of it. Not to learn. That's what's happening. <coughs> Next one. <clears throat> now, disadvantages of injury. We talk about the injury, we talk about the basic re responsibilities, we talk about the basic reasons for injury. What are the disadvantages of the injury? <laughs> well, for example, these are, I wrote a few things here. You can, you can add if you like to. <coughs> Frustration. Very psychological. Once you injure, the, your confidence level is cost. It goes, it goes as a cycle. The cost is a big one, right? For example, you have three children, family, your boy injured. Look where you're going through. Take it to the chiropractor. Take it to the somebody else. Take it. We listen to everybody. Because we want to get better. Oh, there's a corner in Rockville, there's a Raj, you take him. I'm not a doctor. But if you do understand the soft tissue well, which I gave you many, many examples, which I give you a pack today, what I was able to do in my <coughs> It's not written by me, it's written by the people. So, so <clears throat> the costing is continuous. Loss of time, these days especially, including my, my nephew. I was not that comfortable to ask him, but he's kind enough to come here this time. I don't want to interrupt him, he's dead. Time is so valuable. But we're talking about injury. 
Look at what happens if you go into 10 places in the traffic and so on and so forth. Disappointment, another psychological issue. It becomes a weak link once you injure it. That haunts you forever. Disturbance. You're 24 hours disturbed, disturbed by that. Loss of confidence. I mentioned that in a, in a different way. That is the biggest psychological thing, especially in the super athletes. Irritation. Irritation by soft tissue, what I mean. Right? We all know that. What is irritated by <coughs> soft tissue? What are they? Everything is a soft tissue. Right? Including bone. Ligament, tendon, muscle, cartilage. Then, loss of focus on, you can't really focus what you're doing, what you're training. Especially all these things I'm, I'm looking on in a high level sports athletes. But it doesn't mean that we can educate our normal population also. All right, key thing is now, it happened already, we talked about the effects and responsibilities and blah, 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 all of that. Now, how do we get to it? Injury repair process. What is the first thing we do? We all know. Trainer, Sam, give it to me. What would you do if something injury? Rest. What else? Yes. What else? Good. Rice. Rice. There we go. Yeah, there is. Ha ha. Yes, ice compression elevation. Mm -hmm. One to one good proper hundred percent answer. Thank you. Rice, right? Mm -hmm. Now there is no there is no such thing rice anymore. Take that R out. <laughs> really? I mean it. They yeah. Want you to it rice. is S two. There is no rice anymore. I mean, I'm sorry, um, no, no. there's no R anymore, there's no rest anymore. What is S2? Stretch, stretch 10 times. Okay, stretch one more, one more, one more stretch. Beginning and then end. Stretch and, hold on now. S2, stretch and stabilize. Okay. okay. Now, what are the most common injuries? We all know that. Sam and uh, Raj. Right. No, no, no. What are the common injuries? Mm -hmm. The common injuries? The common injuries are sprain mm -hmm. and strain. Sprain and strain. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like body. Common body. injuries. Body. Ankle sprain. We talked about that a few minutes ago. Yeah, that's the common injury. Common. So you all know the word, how to distinguish between comes sprain and strain, right? What is it? What is sprain? One is tendon, one is ligament. Okay, if sprain happens. Don't, don't doubt yourself. It's, it's a simple thing. Sprain it's is ligament. Right, great. There you go. Have confidence. Strain, what is that? Tendon. There you go. Right? One takes longer than the other to heal. Oh, good point. That, that's what they say. The ankle sprain is from mild, moderate, and severe. <clears throat> Not as much blood flow to that. Mild, moderate, and severe. Right? So this. So as a therapist, we would not know doctors. We don't have a scientific background. That's what I earlier I said. Touch is important. How can you distinguish these three? Do we know? But yes, yes, it is a common sense we know. If it is a severe, there is an operation. We can't deal with that as a therapist. Something broken. But still, according to me, even though in such conditions, you can work the rest of the body, which is seriousness can, I give you a great example in a few minutes what I'm talking about. I have done many, many cases in my, in my career. But nobody listens to me anyway. 
because mind doesn't listen. In the in the severe cases, so as soon as whatever the doctors has to do, let them do it. Then if you do attend, that's one of my dream in my life, post and pre. Post and pre operational therapeutic treatment. You just use your best. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, but I, I, you know, as a simple me, that's what my class is. How many can I influence you so that you can influence others? So, as a group, before my graveyard, maybe there is a penetration in the medical system. That's, that's, this is my platform. Who am I? I'm not a doctor. What we're talking about, this is my, my experience. This is my platform. I would love to see who argue with this, which means all natural. Who argue with this exercise? Who argue with the stretching? Who argue with the massage? We all know by now how scientifically it is improving. What are the physiological benefits of that? Then why don't we do it? Okay, treatment. <clears throat> it's vast. I wrote a few, maybe there are a ton of others. Massage, ice massage. Anybody have done an ice massage in your career? Thank you. Great one. Ice massage. Yeah, if it, is, if it is the mild, in this case, if you do attend right away, you can be, get back within up within days. I hope an American Massage Therapy Association or the local schools have this expertise to more detail. That's what I was saying yesterday. Instead of going to <coughs> instead of going to six month school, if we go three years, then we'll be able to look into the deeper subject into it, perhaps even a doctor, that a good doctor can come educate the, educate your students. That's PhD level work though. Yeah, not with three years. Yeah. That's PhD level work. That's why, we're, that's why we're not able to compete with the other professionals. A chiropractor or an MD, their schooling is three years. That's, yeah, that's that's PhD. My, that's my vision is to, if you want to be honest, a good therapist, yeah. Yeah. go to three years. It's fantastic, but it's unrealistic with most people. Isn't well, it? go to six six weeks course, and you can you can touch it yesterday. Like I was yeah. telling you, you can you can just touch it. That nothing going to nothing going to recover from that, according right. to me. Right, I agree. But you have to get a deeper level of that. Absolutely. Deeper level happens if you have the education behind it. Like in Canada, there are right. Canadian programs. Right. Much yeah. more intense. Okay. <clears throat> So the treatment, massage, ice massage, stretching, physiotherapy, chiropractic, acupuncture, acupressure, kinesio taping, which is huge now, and much more. Whatever you want. But our goal is treat that right away so that the athlete can get back to whatever he is doing because his life depends on that much <clears throat> point is money. Okay, so far so clear? Okay, now, a while ago I said that, <clears throat> i give you an example of it. Yes, I had this with me, but somebody advised me to get a permission from this little girl. This is not the one girl I gave you, this is another girl. Her name is Anya. This is a, this is a true story, am I right? So, <clears throat> the girl have a medial malleolus. The word is here. <clears throat> Yesterday I called them, they gave me the permission to use this. That's why I did not mention yesterday. Yes, I, I don't know even how to, how to pronounce this. What do you say that? Epophysitis? 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 I never heard before. But one of the little, little friend working for me, 
he looked really clear in the dictionary, wrote it for me also, I bought it that too. What is it? It is a repetitive microtrauma. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I was stunned when I, when I read that. It's right here, not, not by me, it's saying right here. <clears throat> well, this condition is defined by inflammation of an, an aphophysitis, a natural protuberance from a bone. The inflammation character, characteristic of the condition believed to be caused by, there you go, repetitive microtrauma. I was stunned by that. Now, so the physician, his trainer, told the girl, no gymnastics. So their competition, they already won three regionals. Their competition coming 26th, 27th in FedEx field in Landover for the end of the regional championships. Girl is very anxious to get back to it, which is, she's only nine. She, she also have a broke bone fragmentation. You know all of that, what is that? It says right here. The X-rays to the three views of the both ankles show that there is some bony fragmentation, which is a tiny piece of the bone in the ankle. But the good story, honest story is, when she came to me, <clears throat> when I worked this area, when I touched it, very painful, just a touch. And I worked the lower leg muscles, that's what I talked about earlier, touch, touch. I cannot give you this. She sees me every other week. The, the pain from her, or, or, I don't know, I'll be eight, I, I, she said eight from the eight level, one to 10 scale, I was able to bring it to two. She went home, very innocent girl, went home, asked her mother, my foot is feeling better. Can I go to see Raju next week? which is Monday, every other Monday, tomorrow Monday. Unfortunately, I shouldn't bring my that, my personal story, but I have a divorce date tomorrow. It got to my heart. I got really emotional, I can't see the girl. But anyway, that's why I bought this with me. The touch is so crucial, how well you learn that, to how to attain that, to that. Okay. Was, was it inflamed? Yes, a tiny bit, tiny bit. It was before, it has a, it has a, a cast, or how we call it, a boot, whatever that is. So you push, you don't push on the inflammation? No, 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 no. So you work around the you, area. Yes, work around it. it. That, we talked about that a minute ago. So there is no such a thing, to me, contraindications of a massage. Unless there's a pregnancy thing, first three, first tri trimester, whatever that yeah, is. Gene, then you can but even it. though I believe you can do something. Yes. But only thing, if, if something break, you can, you're not going to push it, move it, or hurt it. You know, I'm not expert of everything, but there may be something else. According to me, there's, a, there's no such thing contraindication in this work. How mm -hmm. I, you have to develop your mind. You can work on a born baby to a dying man. There's no such a thing contraindication in this work. You just have to be aware of all these things that you mentioned. When you do an oncology massage or cancer massage, you have to be aware of all these things. If you're not educated, <clears throat> and not everybody is, well, you can harm someone. What we are, what we are. I may have these visions and goals and everything. One day may happen, one day may not happen. I think collectiveness, confidence wins. Doesn't, doesn't it? In the human history? If you are one, it will happen. So yesterday one. Still now we talked about all those sections of the how to deal with this injury. So one more thing before I Alright, down the MRI, we did it now. Re injury. It's the, the worst enemy. Once you re, re injured, you've done, according to me. 
it won't come back to the 100%. I may be wrong. Again, I'm talking about the international level athletes where they perform consistently. That kind of Look at the pole wall today, about 20 feet. Can somebody repeat that with the re injury? I don't think so. Why not? Why not? Because of the soft tissue damage. You can't repeat the healing process again? There are exceptions. Okay. It's not 100% what I'm saying. It, it is possible. But how how timely you attend that to make it to make it to that quality come back and reperform again. The quality, the quality, quality of the soft tissue. Right. Co the because yeah, we well we all know ligament function what? Ligament function is limited. It does it does that's it. From here it does it go back. If it wants it go back what is that? Sprain. So every day micro trauma happening in the body. Look at what happening to that ligament. So best thing not to get into. All right, movement. I talked about all this. Uh, movement. <coughs> what I what I mean by movement. That's why I bought this little thing here. Is in the later on you can read. It's in ninety four. She started working working out when she's 77. She broke six world records in track and field. I also got this Washington Post. So the reason I bought it, <clears throat> make it a short story. At the end of this, it says, number one rule is keep moving. You can read it later. That's why I wrote the movement here. <clears throat> Movement relies, depends we're talking about injury. The recovery, recovery, performance, rehabilitation, injury repair, however you look at all <coughs> depends on movement. That's what this class is. All movement. Stretching is a movement, isn't it? Massage is a movement. Exercise is a movement. Long time ago, one of my sports massage guru, there's no sports massage, the athletes needs guru, and told me massage mantra is move the tissue, move the tissue, move the tissue. Rajus mantra is move, move, move. No more excuses, yet moving. If you want the, this is get better. Okay? All right. Anything else? Contribution? I would like to get to the <coughs> aerobic, anaerobic, all that. But we you by manipulating. That's the core of the program, core of the injury lecture. But there are some other things I, I touch base as we go along. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, my buddy. So, so use it. Use it, call me, ask me. I give you my information. Whatever I can help by on the phone with you, more than happy to. But develop the confidence at the end of the day and continue practice. I see it in your faces. The last one, Pittsburgh class, this is the class. These two, I, I have that gut feeling that you're all getting something out of me. But is it? If you don't, I already said to you, I don't know how many of you paying attention that I recommend you also come and see in person a session that will even give you more confidence. Again, it's, it, it, it's up to you how, how, how higher level you want to practice. How we, we talked about yesterday. It's nothing but what Raju said, what gave you. I'm repeatedly saying this. Results. 
So I won't say this and I won't repeat it if we did not have the result. This, this is nothing but zero, garbage. That's what I want you to look at. Every time you touch a human body, are you improving? Are you contributing? Are you educating? Okay. Thank you, all of you. You want to take a five-minute break? Go ahead. Yes. Thanks for, uh, thanks for your quietness and listening. And Very good, Raju. Again, I'm not bragging myself. How many, how many CEU class you took? You have different. Anybody raise your hand?